Mr. Yost here. I'd like to welcome you to World Religions 2011 Spring Semester. Many of you have asked me what is it like living in Malaysia. Well, it's warm, it's hot, it's damp, but it's a lovely island. I actually live on Penang, which is an island just off the west coast of mainland Malaysia. And mainland Malaysia is a peninsula that comes south out of Thailand. And to the north of us not only is Thailand, but there's Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, uh, Myanmar, all were part of this uh, uh, peninsula that comes down that we all call Southeast Asia. Penang is an island of uh, a couple million people. And we are uh, west, as I said, of mainland Malaysia and then uh, east of what we would call the islands of Indonesia. Um, we are in a beautiful tropical area uh, loaded with monkeys and uh, wonderful plants and butterflies and it's uh, truly uh, the, the term for Penang is the Pearl of the Orient. It's also a great place to study world religions. Looking out my balcony across the way, I can see a mosque that we have affectionately entitled the, the Floating Mosque. It's a mosque built on piers. You'll get an opportunity to see a picture of it. Um, and in a little while, the caller will be calling uh, the faithful uh, folks of Islam to prayer. And then to my left, across the main highway, is a Hindu temple. And in a little while, around 7 o'clock, uh, the bells will begin to ring. And just like a chapel in the country, it's calling uh, the faithful of the Hindu faith to come and uh, worship at the temple. And just down the road is a Baptist church, and up the other way is um, a, B a Buddhist temple. Uh, fact is, uh, one of the largest Buddhist temples in Southeast Asia is here on the island of Penang, and I'll afford you an opportunity to see some pictures of a tour that I took of it. Uh, and down the road is the, the temple or the, uh, the temple of the lying Buddha. No, no, he's not telling lies. He's actually physically lying down. Huge, huge uh, statue of uh, a lying down Buddha. So uh, Penang is an island that is mostly Chinese. About 60% of the island is Chinese. But Malaysia as a country uh, is an Islamic or a Muslim country. Uh, ruled by Islamic uh, law and guided by Islamic principles. So it's a little odd uh, as a Christian, one who practices the Christian faith, to live in a country where, honestly, we're not the majority. You who live in the United States, the majority religion clearly still is uh, Christianity. But what you're seeing, and I hope that you'll appreciate after taking this class, is that the fabric of uh, the United States and, and uh, the North American continent is changing rapidly, uh, becoming a, a cornucopia, if you will, of world religions. Uh, Islam, in particular, is growing at a rapid rate. But ever since the days of um, uh, Independence Day in 1776, there were other religions on our continent. Um, some were Native American religions, and even Judaism was on the uh, island, so to speak, of the United States. Uh, the United States is changing dramatically, and I think it would do you well to study at least the five major world religions and recognize that you can go to almost any major city now and there will be a mosque. Uh, most likely will be a Buddhist temple. Uh, even Hindu temples are springing up across uh, North America. And even the, one of the smallest world religions, Sikhism, uh, has uh, centers of worship throughout the United States. Uh, I hope that you'll appreciate and learn to respect uh, the other faiths of the world. Recognize also that they're not in agreement on many things, but many principles of life we can find agreement on, and we can celebrate that agreement. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what you folks produce in this class and your studies of world religions, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you better. Uh, so once again, welcome uh, to World Religions uh, for 2011 Spring. My name is Mr. Yost, and have a great weekend.